Hey guys, um, I want to tell you a dream that I had last night. Uh, it is October, let's see, October 27, 2021. I had this dream last night at around three ish. Um, so in this dream, in this dream, it was a short, quick dream. It was before awakening. Um, every time I know that I, there's dreams that I need to remember. Sometimes th there'll be dreams that I'll have and I'll remember easily. Um, but sometimes, um, the Lord will wake me up right when I, I guess for he, when he needs for me to remember this. So, um, last night it was a short dream. As I said, I was awakening. Uh, before I woke up, I heard a voice say, there is no time. There is no time. There is no time. It's time to do Jay's work. But I saw Jay's work written down. And when I saw Jay's work, I knew, and I already knew that it meant Jesus's work. And then I woke up. And then um, at the same time I woke up, my dog started barking to go out. So that happens a lot. That happens a lot when I get messages, my dog wakes up at the time that I'm needing to wake up to, it's just weird, out of the dream. So, and that was one, and there was another one where I was in the mall with um, a friend named Teresa, and Teresa's name means to harvest, or harvester, or one of those two, and we were going through the mall, we were looking for something for a wedding, but she says, she received a text message, and the text message, I didn't read the text message, but the text message, message I know said, that she only had so little time they gave her a time frame and she was rushing through the mall saying come on come on we have to hurry up and find this uh before we have to hurry up and find this um that doesn't give me enough time that doesn't give me enough time and we're rushing through trying to find this um item and then we finally got out of the mall and we were just there waiting and then i woke up from my dream so god is telling us that there is no more time we have to do God's work. We have to do his work. So I pray in Jesus name that you take this warning, that we continue to do his will, that we continue to live for him, to work. And do, when I say work, I don't mean, you know, how, you know, the law, like Moses law, the, you know, legalism. That's not what I mean. When I say do his work, meaning to love, God commands us to love. He commands us to believe in Jesus. Those are the works that we're supposed to do. And to love, it doesn't mean the love of the world. What the world knows what love is, is, oh, I love that person. I told them I love that person or I bought that person something. So that means I love them. No, when Jesus tells us to love, he made an example out of love. He laid his life down for his brothers and sisters. He laid his life down for people that he loved. When somebody was in need, he went out and helped them. When somebody was in need of prayer, he went out and prayed for them. That's our work. That is what we're to do. That is what love is. Love is when somebody else is in need, we put their needs before ours. So we love and we keep faith in Jesus Christ. That's our work. But this is also... Sorry guys, my video cut off. I was just gonna leave you two Bible verses. Um, one of them, Proverbs. 18 1 a man who isolates himself seeks his own desires and he rages against his rages against all wise judgment so us just waiting for god to come for us and not do anything in our home and not trying to do god's will we're going we're going against what god wants and we can't do that and don't i mean we can't be doing things like that we can't just wait at home and not do anything we need to be doing the lord's work um also um another bible verse here I have to get it. I don't really know what it is, but a generous person will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. I'm pretty sure y'all know who that, what Bible verse that is. Um, I'm stopping at stop signs. I'm sorry. I'm stopping at stop signs. I'm driving right now. So I was only able to read that real quick, but I love you guys. The point is for us to put others before others. We're to put others before ourselves is what I meant. Put others before ourselves. Um, to do God's work, which is to love and to continue to maintain our faith in the Lord Jesus. We have to, to encourage others when others are down, when others are feeling weary, we're to go and love that person, to go and show support, to go and encourage them.
to uplift that person, to pray for them when they're in need, to help them when they're in need, financially, physically, emotionally, just in prayer, spiritually. Um, but I love you guys. Have a blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for you and your family. In Jesus' name, that y'all be safe and protected, that the Lord continue to send his guardian angels, warning angels, ministering angels from his heavenly throne room to go protect y'all, to go forth and to watch over y'all, for y'all to have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen.